So it's basically all but confirmed that Battlefield 2018 or Battlefield 5, Battlefield Victory, whatever it's called, will be set in World War II. This extremely short and brief trailer uh, was just released onto multiple Battlefield accounts and honestly it kind of tells us everything we need to know about the setting, aside from one or two things that could possibly make this an extremely interesting game. You can see at the top of the screen there is a score system there and it does show the British Union Jack and the German Wehrmacht um, army symbol, possibly, or the Iron Cross as it's also called. Now the one thing about this that kind of, for me, questions if this really is the World War II game we're going to get, or possibly some kind of alternate game, is the look of the soldier who is doing the shush animation. We can see that the character we are seeing through the eyes of is a British soldier because the British score is on the left and it's the blue colour, while the German one is on the right and it's the red colour. But the German soldier is wearing these weird goggles, has a full beard, and it kind of looks like he's been through a lot of war and doesn't it, or isn't dressed like a typical German soldier of World War II. So this is when you can actually begin to run wild and start to theorise that maybe this is some alternate war where the war has gone on longer than it, pre than it previously did and maybe things have turned from a sort of, uh, you know, more of a sort of organised war to a futuristic one where there's like a, basically an apocalypse and nobody's really fighting for a side anymore, everybody's just fighting to survive. That is, of course, total theory. We have absolutely no idea, but there has recently been a few more things that they've tweeted out on the Battlefield account. One of the most interesting things was they mentioned multiple times that this was a new setting and that there were sort of uh, unexplored or undiscovered theatres of war. Now, if this was a World War II game, we've already been to World War II in the Battlefield series, mostly in the uh, Pacific campaign, especially in the later games, but obviously it's covered basically the whole setting of World War II. So I do wonder if this really could be some kind of alternate World War II game, or if this is just a totally different take on a World War II game, you know, less of a, um, a general take, and more of a sort of fantasy, change everything up a little bit take. Regardless, the only way we can definitely confirm all of this is on the reveal 23rd of May, uh, which I put the times on for the different regions now up on the screen, and honestly I can't wait for that. Hopefully I'll get a video for that. The only problem I do find with that is that for me my internet is slower, so by the time I do make a video, obviously I'm, uh, everyone else is going to have a video at the same time, but hopefully I'll be able to get one out just to sort of cover it as much as I can. There is still a possibility that this isn't a World War II game, and honestly I think that is entirely possible. What I do really now think is most likely is a alternate World War II game, as I previously mentioned. It just, the German soldier here just doesn't look like your typical German soldier. And again, maybe it's just a strange take on a soldier, maybe it's a certain class and that's the look of the class. Maybe it happens to be one character within the entire game. Then again, there's flags above the, or on the top of the screen underneath the score, so possibly this is a multiplayer mode. Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe, leave your thoughts down below in the comments about what you think this could possibly be, I'd love to hear them, and of course we'll all theorise for the next two days until the reveal. So until the day of the reveal, which once again the time should be on screen now, hopefully uh, you'll be watching it too, and I'll get the video as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.